that's into me. I hate it. I've tasted it like twice in my life and despised it. Ouch, my back hurts. Hold on, I need chapstick. Ooh, get some food. I'm literally supposed to be a digestive med? Gross. I hate it. I think it tastes like medicine. But I have always loved black licorice my whole life, and I've been made fun of it. Like, what is that with kids? Like, why do kids make fun of each other for liking something? And my mom would send me to school, like, with my packed lunch, and she'd send me with all the black jelly beans from Easter because no one else liked them. And all, everyone, I got so bullied because I liked different things. Well struck. It, my life. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? I remember sometimes I would just not eat my lunch. Like, sometimes I would pretend I didn't have a lunch and just sit there and not eat. My shrimp in? I just did that. I just did. I'm straight now. Believe it or not. And insidious killer. I was, though. I was shrimped. I'm no longer shrimped. Thank you, though. Posture checks are important. Posture check, y'all. You don't want shrimp shoulders. Kids are fucking assholes, man. It's so weird. And that shit stays with you forever. Forever. Is there a box in here? Yeah. Bitch. Shit. Well, it's the end of the thing. Let's just drink some juice. Juice! I like juice. Bitch! Mm, what do I not get? Wait, can't you stack? Seriously? Only three in a stack of those? That's some fucking bullshit! Fuck my asshole. Okay. About raspberry flavorings, if it's real, yuck, if it's fake delicious, I love fake raspberry too. In Scandinavia, black licorice and salt licorice doesn't have table salt, so it's common. I love every piece of black licorice I've ever tried, except I don't like the sweet, soft stuff that gets stuck in your teeth. I do not like that. It's not a digestive med, it's digestive. It's kind of liquor made to aid digestion, made to be drunk after dinner. Cable's a bartender. Cable, Cable's like, knows shit. Like how Aperol is an a per a partif made drink before food because it makes you salivate. I did not know that. You just teached me science. I did not know. Seriously, you just taught me science. That's pretty cool. Are you serious, cat? Some kid in his class told him to kill himself. Why do kids even know that language? Ew. Ew. Why? Helps digestion. Is that like the same, like a digestive? I've heard that term, like regarding liquors and stuff, but I never knew if it was actually like a digestive, like made you salivate or something like that. I just didn't know. Because they have absentee parents and older siblings who sit on fucking 4chan all day. Honestly, Kat, I've told you that before. I used to hate kids. Now I just hate parents. It's not kids' fault. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's cool kid here got shunted on social media and you wanted to... Dude, I cannot fathom being a youth in the social media era. Like, you can't leave the bullying. When I was a kid, when I got off the bus, it was over. There was no way someone could bully me at my house. I lived in the middle of nowhere. We had one landline, like no internet, no nothing. And now with social media, it's like, I didn't, yeah. oh dude, cat, I, your poor child. God, social media, it's a blessing and a curse, I tell you. I love it because it gives me friends and it makes me able to contact all the people all over the world who I can't see in person. Why did you get sickly? I hate you. But like, kids shouldn't have it. The tents are pitched. Social Banner, media at a young age is probably not very good for your mental health, but you know, if it's not online, it will happen offline. The circus has come to town. You know. I'm sorry, I keep clicking chat, just like, uh, I don't know. I love it for, but I like curate mine to be puppies and kittens and lizards and you know, fun stuff. But a kid doesn't know how to curate stuff. They're a kid. You know, 
gathered like, from they don't know corners of the earth that makes sense oh shit we got an occultist fuck yeah Barbaric rage i did a run the other day and glut and eliza were watching me and i killed three ally. occultists in a row in a row my dudes can be found even in a here, fucking row in the mud and rain Recommends more pizzas, desserts. Oh, bless them. Exactly, Poker Dot. Yep. And, like, I loved bugs. And I loved... I love... Like, I grew up with older parents. My parents were a lot older than everybody else's parents because I'm the second youngest of, like, nine. And so my grandparents and stuff, like, I grew up eating oysters on saltine crackers. And I would get so attacked... For that like the just the stupidest shit the pews set straight there's actually a scene we were talking the about this earlier in um my faithful. big fat greek wedding i think karaki queen brought it up and there's a scene where she's eating moose caca moussaka or something and they're like moose caca gross and i i like almost cry watching that scene every time because that was me that was me i hate that scene and i still love weird food fuck yes ike wolf but all my friends had like little grilled cheese sandwiches or like PB and J's. Yeah. Yeah. In Northern Europe, we mostly just use the umbrella terms bitter and semi bitters. And yes, I realize that leaves stuff that doesn't fit in like herbaceous, but not bitter hard alcohols like chartreuse. I've never had a mixed drink I liked with bitters in it. Honestly. It always, like, every time I've... And I love bitter flavors. Like, you guys know me. I fucking guzzle coffee and dark chocolate. But I feel like it leaves my mouth with this strange, dry feeling that I don't like. Like, it almost makes all the skin in my mouth pucker like a butthole or something. I don't know what it is. Maybe Cable can help me, because Cable's a pro. I'm not a pro. Um, let's see. Are you, like, Healy? You're, like, Healy, but, like, not that Healy. I should probably take you with. All right. Bitters are mostly drunk in shots. No shit. Oh, we have them in, like, in drinks here. Like, a Manhattan, I think, has bitters in it and shit. And every time I've had one, I like bugs, too. I loved bugs. When I was a kid, like, I was that kid. My parents hated me because I would go around in their parking lot and outside and flip every rock, every log, every fucking thing I could find to find bugs. Oh, they're different things? Oh. 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 Maybe I'm confused. See, I don't drink, like, ever, so. Who the fuck does anymore? Where are you going to go? <laughs> what are these? Um, Slippery boots. Cute. I yearn for adventure. Nobody cares about you. Shut up. Dude, Kyle K, it's also on um, iPad for, like, five bucks. Angostura bitters. I have, see, yep, we're talking a new language now. Oh, fake ginger ale's disgusting. Same with root beer. They'll make fake root beer with that shit? No. Uh-uh. I ain't into it, y'all. Where are you gonna go? Right there? Sick. Who's gonna be my tank? Is it gonna be you? You have no dodge. You're a little broken. How about Fresley? Is not allowed to visit the brothel for really for reasons best left to discretion. Oh. They're both broken. Why do you guys both suck a bunch of cock? Claustrophobia? Sick. Sick! Love it. Oh well. Let's kill him. Who are we gonna take? Um. What does she got? She bleeds um, she stuns um. What have you got? That won't work. No, we're not going to take him. We're going to take her. All right. Uh, Mickey's Bitters is another family of booze. Oh, you mean the bitters you get in a lemon, lime, and bitters, Katie? Yes, I don't like that bitters. Yes. Thank you. Yes. 
And it's weird because I love bitter food and I love sour food, but it's like, it's almost like your mouth puckers, like you should be enjoying something sour, but there's no sour flavor. It's just like, what the fuck's happening in my mouth? Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm learning. See, I teach you guys about weed. You teach me about strange, bittery things. It's great. Um, disease wrist. R uh, disease, whatever. Um, let's see. Who has you? Oh my god, you are useless. Not, like, oh. We'll only visit the brothel? Sick. It's also, it's very European. I don't think I drank a lot when I was in Europe. I really don't remember, though. It's been a very long time since I was there. It's so sad. I need to get back. Mmm. Oh, no. No, no. I gotta watch my money, man. I'm used to having tons of money because I've been playing this game offline. I don't have tons of money right now. Um, We've got two healers, technically. Also, the bitters you're talking about, Katie, is like the seasoning of a cocktail world. There are hundreds of different flavors, and you use them to complement your drinks. Like lavender bitters, for example, goes great with gin drinks. But does it have that weird bitter thing happening? Or does it just is it just like lovely lavender? Because I love lavender, but if it makes my mouth do that thing, I'll just be like sad about it the whole time, you know? Is it just me? I might be broken. Hmm. Nope. Yeah, me neither, Poker Dot. Like, I've been to, so when I was in Germany, beer. We just drank a lot of beer. And I had this really good sparkling wine in Germany that I can't remember the name of, but it was pretty tasty. And it had la it had violet in it. Place to begin. And, and the then when I was in line. Uh, Italy, wine everywhere. In the Czech Republic, it was a lot of wine. I love trying stuff all over the world. It's fun. Like, I don't drink, but I would try drinks. Like, it's not that I'm, like, anti-drinking. I just really hate being drunk. But, like, sipping a delicious, refreshing fucking drink in the summertime is dope as fuck. A fortune. I love when ginger ale and, uh, um, like, root beer and stuff. Yeah. An actual lick, lick, oh. I was just gonna say, Mickey, I would fucking love that. Minty licorice, go fuck yourself, dude. As the light gains You're making purpose, my mouth water. Spirits are lifted and purpose <laughs> is made clear. Yes. Ginger beer with vodka, oh yes. I love, what are those like, they're really hip to get right now. Cable probably knows, they come in like the little copper thing. But it's just like ginger ale and you can get bourbon with it or you can get gin with it. It's really good though, it's really refreshing. I like, I like alcohol that's very refreshing. I hate syrupy, thick drinks. Russian mule, Moscow mule, yes. But I think if you do it with bourbon, it's a, yeah, it's just a mule. It can be like a Kentucky mule or whatever. The light. The you know, everybody has their own fucking name for it. But they're delicious. Very refreshing. I love me a fresh drink. But those thick ass, I don't know how people do those thick, like brandy kind of drinks. It's a mule and whatever booze you put in changes the name. There you go, yep. Yeah, I usually get them whenever I go to cons because that's the only time I drink, really. Sect is the German sparkling wine we drank in Germany when I was stationed there. I wonder what ours was called. Was, did yours have like, this was literally like pale purple and it said they said it was like violet, but it was pretty tasty. I enjoyed. Why, fuck you. Copper was a sales gimmick? Shut up. Seriously? That's amazing. I always wondered what the fuck the point of the copper was, because if you go to, like, Bed Bath & Beyond or any of those places, they sell those copper mugs for, like, $30 a piece for a fucking piece of copper mug. Powerful, like, bro. melt some pennies, bitch. It wasn't creamy. It was, like, a, smark a sparkling wine, but it was pale violet colored. And they put ice in it, which was interesting.
Ginger syrup, lime seltzer, and vodka made from sugar cane. Yum. The one with the violet? Yeah, it was like a sparkling wine that they served with ice cubes. And I swear it was like light, pale purple. Like see-through, like really, 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 really opaque, like see-through purple. Oh, I'm sure you can find them for cheap, but those stores, they're like aiming for, you know, p kids in there like, Mommy, need this for college. Impulse buying. It's like champagne mixed with Kirsch and stuff like Royal Kirsch. Uh, Royal Kirsch. Is that what it is? I think it was mixed, but I don't remember. It was very tasty. It, we were in Grey Now when I had it, and I remember it was, remember I had uh, food poisoning when I was in Germany, and they told me it would help with my stomach, and it really did. It was very refreshing, and it did help my stomach a lot. Die, motherfucker! Mismo, how are you in your hands? Daddy's credit card. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Mismo. How are you, love? Mando, yes. No! Oh my god. This is what I mean, when you're weak and small. Stun the bitch! How are you, Mismo? You know, all my friends from, well, like, friends, all my acquaintances from school and whatnot who had mommy and daddy money, they still don't work. Like, most of them live off a rich husband, or they had kids as an excuse not to work anymore. It's very weird. This is how a life is taken. Shut up! My hero's blighted. I don't think, did I bring, oh, thank God I did. Oop. Good job. Um... Smack him in the dick. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. They're lazy. I could not fathom. Honestly. Honest God, like everybody's like, oh, you you take a sugar daddy. Everybody wants to sit around and do nothing. I'd kill myself. I love to get up and stay busy. Like I like working. If I like my job, and it obviously supports me. No, I don't talk to anyone. It's like Facebook stalking, you know? Instagram. It's like there's no talking happening. It's just like really weird. We haven't spoken in 10 years, but somehow I know everything about their life because they post it all on fucking Instagram. People don't keep anything private. Like I know girls that make a fucking Instagram hashtag for their babies the moment the babies come out of their vagina. What? weird a death by inches no i didn't have i didn't have anyone in school that i was like actually close with at all to continue talking to i was pretty fucking stoked to get out of that ice to get out of that entire town to get out of that state babies come out of your vagina their formation is broken Maintain their formation the is broken go fuck yourselves nobody cares Journal pages are stupid. You guys want me to read them? Good, because I don't want to read them. Ain't no babies coming out of this vagina. My lineage ends with this womb. Thank Littering you so much. Gold, trinkets and baubles. Thank you so much. Paid no. For in blood. No. This is a baby-free vagina. Man, this map's weird. So we have to do a... 100% of the room battles. Hopefully we can scout. Somebody else scout. Word. How you doing, Vissy? How's your head? Fuck off! I hate him. Why are you like this? Yeah, like, there's plenty of people out there that want babies. I don't feel pressured or like I need to replenish the population. Cheers, by the way. I see that, Viata. Sorry, by the way. Sorry. I think I need to re... I'm going to top her off a little bit for you. Because it's seated Friday, y'all. Where's my grinder? Dude. Oh, my God. Someone was having a baby in chat last night. I wonder how the baby is. Holy shit. I just remember that. 
Oh, Fissy. Maybe your dentist can give you something for your head. Does the, um, what is it they give you, the whatever they give you to relax you before you go in, does that help at all? Oh, Zach, thanks. I appreciate that. I don't, I mean, uh, no. <laughs> Have you ever seen birth? We had two, they're grown now, perfect. Not with the pain, hmm. I'm a good fur mama, and scale mama, and spooter mama, and I enjoy that. But I think adding children to my life would make me very miserable. Some people think that's selfish. I think it's more selfish to have kids because you think you should, and then ignore them and sit them in front of a screen all day. But that's just me. <laughs> my whole family's dead, so I have no legacy. Like, seriously? My dad died of alcoholism when I was seven, and his entire side is dead from alcoholism, so. There ain't no fucking legacy here. I'm free. Oh, Savvy, yes. <coughs> I am. I'm a mother to chat, my community, my fur babies. I am motherly. I just have never had the maternal instinct to shove puppy out of pussy, you know? Which is weird. I don't watch birth videos, dude. I'm not even kidding you, Taka. When I was like five, my mom put on the miracle of life, the one from the 80s with the big hairy cooter, and she let me just sit in the living room and watch it all by myself. That, that's where I learned. And she wonders why I don't want babies. It's pretty traumatizing for a little girl that doesn't even have hair on her cooter yet. I mean, that was scary for me. I was like, why is it hairy? I'm five. <laughs> right, Alex, same. Like, I think about that sometimes and it would break, if I had a daughter and she was chubby like I was and she got bullied on the social media level and she had to go through all the things I did and then she was bipolar, OCD, ADHD, I would be crushed that I did that because I know it's in me. I wanted to be an oven for someone, but I don't want the goblin. Oh, bless. I think I'd be a good mom because I'm aware of how much effort, time, care, attention, and money it takes to raise a kid. I have none of those things, so no kiddos for me, right? There's a lot of people in the world that have kids because they just think they should. And then when they have them, they don't actually interact with their kids at all. Like, they just, they just exist with them. And I think that's sad. You can always adopt, Sarah. I just have no desire to bring someone into this world having experienced things same, same. And what's sad is my mom told me stories about when she was a little kid, she experienced all the same things I went through. She was bullied for her weight, picked on, harassed, like all this shit. And I'm just like, so that's pretty much guaranteeing it's gonna keep going. Like, I'm not gonna do that. You'd have to have, I think you've gotta have them when you're ready and not jump on it. abso fucking -lutely. Like, if you stay healthy and shit, you can have a baby for quite some time. Yes. Oh god, the the pressure from for grandparents and shit. Ugh. I consider me never wanting a chill a children. My contribution to global warming. Same. Yeah, it's totally okay to not want kids. Actually, I'm I am inspired by people who willingly will say I do not want a child because that takes courage. Especially as I hate to say it, especially as a woman. We are just, everybody, I mean, I still get, your your biological clock's gonna kick in, honey. You're only 32. Your biological clock's gonna kick in. Would I adopt? I would adopt a puppy or a kitty or a bunny or a lizard or a snake, maybe a bird. Um, a Furby. No, I don't want to have kids. Like, I just don't want them. Really? I never have, though. Like, I've never had... I've also never had, like, that maternal or that, like, marriage fantasy ever in my life. I never had that as a kid. I don't understand why. I just am built differently. 
My biological clock, I took the batteries out of it for my vibrator. Oh, that's beautiful. Hell yeah, Cody, yeah, good for her. Really, Alex? Yeah, I, as a kid, like, even when I was in college and stuff, I, my mom would, you know, they just say those things like, when you get married. When you get married, one day you're gonna get married, when you have kids, when you have your wedding. And so, like, I kept thinking something was broken inside of me because none of that sounded appealing. I am married, but I didn't do, like, the wedding or anything. That's the shit I've never really... Fuck! I've never wanted the wedding or anything. Bitches. Yeah, I, n I don't know. I don't know if that's something wrong with me or what, but I just never, ever have. Ever. That's not recent. Never in my life. I kind of, like tried to force myself to think about it at one point because I didn't want to, you know, just be, like, stuck in my ways. And I, I'm very open to it. Like, if I had a partner who really wanted kids, I would talk about it with them, but I really don't want them, and I never have. I do know asexuality is a thing. I have many good friends who are ace. I couldn't imagine you wearing a white dress and walking down the aisle. <laughs> no, so sappy. When I was younger and I thought you needed to get married and things, I always just wanted to wear the dress from Beetlejuice. Lydia's wedding dress that's like blood red. Mm-hmm. That's what I wanted. Now I told Zeke if we actually had like some sort of ceremony or like something, I want to do like a pagan ritual in the woods. Spill blood on an altar and shit. That's what I would do now. Because fuck it. I never say never. This is true, Zach Dane. I never say never. But I, that's what I mean, though. Like, I'm always open to everything because I never want to shut myself off from an experience. But I personally, like, have never wanted to do the womb thing ever. Dude, right? Or a black lacy dress with a shawl. Oh, yeah, like Victorian. I've always wanted to do, like, the... Where it's, like, the bodice is low cut and then it's just the lace like the black lace turtleneck and the long sleeves of lace like the super gothic like fucking victorian ghost thing that's what i'd wear to get married oh yes oh kodiak no shit i would kill to go to that that would be really cool You're killing a chicken i wouldn't really want to kill an animal really we could just like go get some pig blood from a butcher and like throw it on or i'd rather just cut my own finger off to be honest animal never did nothing wrong what the fuck oh balls shall we cheers <clears throat> as an englishman pig's blood belongs in black pudding i fucking love black pudding if it's got lots of fat in it If you can see like the big white chunks of fat in it and it gets fried, Ooh, fuck me up with that. With a fried that. fucking egg on that that's kind of runny. Bitch, I'm a fucking slip and slide right now thinking about that shit. Ah, uh, Safi, good luck. You'll be fine. Cheers, everybody. Hell yes. Kodiak, I'd want it to be kind of like Ren Fair. You know? Like some little guy, like tooting a horn in a corner and belly dancer or something. <coughs> and of course, a weed blunt rolling bar. <coughs> but, uh, I would never do that because A, I don't have a large group of local anyone to invite to anything like that. And, uh, my parents don't like me, so. Amen, Vissy. You'll be like quality control. <laughs> That's not tight enough. That is too tight. No air is getting through that, you dumb bitch. I can see that. You on, like, a throne behind the rollers. Not today! In cutoff shorts and a tie-dye shirt on the beach. Well, she ended up wearing the white dress. Oh, really? Wow, damn. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'll cheers to your minute, Gargoyle. That was a big hit. 
Mag, yes! 